Okay, everybody, here we go. It looks like we are live. Uh, Post-market wrap-up, what is today? Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. Um, let's let's start off with this. Um, the freak of freaks. I, I can't underscore that enough. I'm talking about Powell, Thing, Puke, Vomitous Mess that, that it is. It's also another s- subhuman thing, part of the uh, the freak show here. You know, look, some of the stuff you talked about today, um, you know, look, the Fed is in no hurry to lower rates. Uh, it's coming. You know this already. All right. They have to. They have to inflate further and they need another avenue to do it. it look, how do, I, how do I put this another way? We right now are in a crisis, a debt crisis, which is a liquidity crisis on an epic scale. And the paradox here is without the mechanism of pulling monumentally more cash into the now, therefore devaluing the currency and causing more inflation, be very careful for what you wish for. We have gotten used to this environment. It's going to end. There's no doubt about it. Um, But the sacrifice, if let's just say, for example, let's set up a scenario here. I personally believe we need a smart revolution. Okay, a smart revolution. They're pushing in us towards a violent revolution. That's what they want. They need and will extort more power out, out of all of us. But if we could come together, there's not enough of us here, unfortunately, in this blog, even though there's like what quarter of a million people that follow this, it's, it's not even close. Okay, by a smart revolution. What I'm talking about is a way to end the current system smartly. Now, if there were enough of us, and there isn't, not even by exponents, unfortunately, that we could get together and start getting our cash out of their system, we could take this whole thing down. It's really the truth. Um, Start pulling cash out of these institutions. Put it under your mattress for a little bit. Um, you know, force bank runs to shut down these institutions would collapse the financial system. This thing would it would it would get very, very ugly here. Um, but but again, the sacrifice that people would need uh, there, they're, uh, it would be off the Richter scale. It's going to happen the way they want it to. And of course, we're going to suffer on a, on, on a biblical level. I mean, there's just no doubt about it here. We already are. And this is a global phenomenon. You all know that. Um, I worry, seriously, I worry a lot that people are being pushed harder and harder and closer to their breaking point here. Uh, what, what do we just find out again? No surprise. Home affordability is at it. Think about what I'm saying. The average guy or the average girl, like we talk about all the time, cannot afford to buy an average price home. What does that tell you? It tells you that there's a big problem here. Okay. Um, People are being systematically destroyed, wiped out. We've been covering this at length to the point of like, you know, nauseam, five and a half freaking long now. It just is going on and on and on here. And um, they they really want to break people. And they're, again, this is deliberate. They're creating slaves to the system, dependency, all the things we've been talking about here, because their new system is going to be rolled out when this one comes down, for which they are dismantling piece by piece. But the propaganda is how strong our economy is. We're the envy of the world. Remember that? That was, that was our creature thing, vomitous puke president illustrious. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, yeah. Um, It's all nonsense. It's all garbage. And we all know that. But again, people don't understand what's happening to them, unfortunately. Uh, It's a terrible thing. But again, with with the thing today talking, it didn't rattle the markets, even though it said, it, Powell, said, okay, you know, we're in no hurry to do this. Look, rate cuts are coming because, again, without... it more uh, cash pulled into the now. When I see we go back to Mad Max, I mean, we will end up in a scenario like a Mad Max scenario here. Everything is going to shut down, which is good anyway. 
I mean, what people don't understand is we are on the every day we are riding uh, on the cusp of a systemic lockdown. Um, again, a liquidity crisis. We're in a full blown debt crisis, which equals a liquidity crisis. Automotive professionals knows what I'm talking about. What assets back the dollar? The war machine. Okay, that's the only thing that backs the dollar. The threat of death uh, on on epic scale. That's what backs the dollar. Uh, truly, uh, with regard to the dollar, um, it's a great question, really. With and I usually an answer these at the end, but this is a good one. Let's cover this now. You, you, uh, many people would argue. Let's talk about that for a moment. Many people would argue that the dollar is backed by crude oil because of the petrol dollar, which is quickly losing uh, <laughs> its spot here. It should be pretty obvious. So they use the threat of death, pain, suffering. Uh, this is what they're doing here. Uh, and that war machine will be pointed at anyone who threatens the dollar as a world reserve. So m war is expanding, no secret. Many, many, many more people are going to die uh, as this, this thing goes on and on. Uh, it's, it's really it, the mechanism behind this whole thing is so sick and twisted and and just just uh, I don't even know what the word is. It's um, it's, it's a horrible horrible thing. But again, you and I getting on the right side of all this, right, Jeffrey? See silver today. Commodities. How how long has this guy been telling you about commodities, people? It's a long game that we're playing. You understand? You know. Regardless of all the nonsense that's going on with, with Powell and the deceptions and the distractions, what we should expect, those of us who understand the game, how it's being played, who the players are, what they want from all of us, um, it just gives us enormous power. And part of that is understanding why we need exposure to commodities, my favorite on the freaking planet right here, second favorite right there. I put them right next to each other. I love these things. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. No, no one said I was normal here. Um, right, great Nate. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All of you are amazing here. Anyway, let's let us move forward. So, uh, on the economic front here, and and this is, I, I, you know, why do I cover this stuff? I don't even know because it's not even a surprise. So, according to the uh, this ISM, the Institute for Supply Management, business conditions here in the United States have now fallen to a three month low. Really? Well, what would you expect when again, what what I follow here, and you all know that is the leading indicators for the market. Okay, business investment is a major leading indicator. Okay. Uh, it's, it's non-existent anymore. Uh, manufacturing, factory activity, all this stuff here that we should be looking at. Again, you, you're not supposed to know about this stuff here. You're not supposed to understand the dynamics behind it because maybe it would cause you to take the right action. People are being so mind-twisted and mind-screwed right now from every angle. It's very difficult for people to understand. It. And it's, it's, this is deliberate, too. People don't know which end is up anymore. Again, they don't know which bathrooms to use. So how, how we're supposed to govern ourselves, right? How can we possibly do that when all we get here is lies and propaganda and, uh, you know, distracted by nonsensical things? But all this boils down to what you and I have been doing for a very, very long time. And I was very happy. I put out a poll earlier. How many of you out here are betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank that is holding physical gold and silver? Uh, the, I mean, like it's like 86% the last time I looked at. Some of you uh, are, are still waiting. I, I don't know what you're waiting for. Um, you have to be ready at all times. Even though, believe me, look, I get it. And I know... I've been telling all of you that I do not believe the end here is happening anytime soon, at least not during this selection cycle. Um, but you're going to be very surprised at how fast this is going to turn around. I think this is opportunity for us here. Um, and that's what this is all about, this this channel here. It's not about doom or gloom and our greatest it's a doom and gloom person. I am just trying to put this in. If, if people can't handle it, look, people can handle the truth. I get it. Okay. But you got to do something about it. You got to sit back, understand the situation. You want to stay really in, 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 in a central bank issued note, 
What are they doing? They're destroying these central banks. This is deliberate. None of this is by accident. People, you want to stay in the dollar. You've got to be nuts or any other central bank issued note. Why? We got to get out of their system. Automotive professionals, right? It's sad knowing how many people's return. It is. It's, it is sad. But all these people are all going to be taken by surprise as they always are. Record high, record high. Sure, this market has fallen a little bit here. There's a lot of confusion. you know, And that's what this is deliberate too. Um, how they keep people off balance with, are they going to cut? Are they not going to cut? Are they going to hike? You know, all this stuff that's going on here. But you and I understand the mechanism. They must inflate. It's their only power. If we only had, it can never happen if we had world leaders come together for which they all work for the central banks anyway. I don't care how much you must love them or, or hate them or whatever it may be, who would prevent one central bank, let's say the Fed, from issuing a single dollar of more debt. Their strength resides in that. If we could prevent that, if we had, first of all, as I said earlier, it would it would change everything for all of us. Be careful what you wish for. Um, and that transitionary period would be very painful. It's going to be even more painful. Mitch knows what I'm talking about, right? Thank you, bro. Magic Mika knows. Everybody knows. Uh, where's Lava? Is she here? <laughs> there you go. You got you know you know all of you you know what I'm talking about here. So so anyway, um, how, let me say this too. Unfortunately, this the mechanism here is very simple. Without the relentless pulling of more cash into the now, which also means devaluing the currency further, creating more making these central banks even stronger. This all ends. This all ends, and it ends really, really fast. So, you know, we know it's going to end anyway at one point because that's what this is leading up to. So this is why you have to take advantage of everything that comes along your way. And I still believe the best way to take advantage of this is to hold hard assets, gain exposure to commodities here, um, hold this stuff in your hands, you know, and then of course, you know, look at me, you know, like I, I have exposure to a lot of things here. I still believe, I still believe Lucas, thank you, that we need exposure to the long end of this market for now, for now, then we'll get out of here at one point and we'll watch other assets just skyrocket. You know, you, I, I play this game from multiple angles. You all know that here, but, um, Anyway, again, I'm sitting here preaching to the choir. But yes, with the commodities today, silver taking off as of yesterday, gold doing well, crude oil, what would you expect in, in this rapidly evolving war in environment um, that we are in? Risk on is going to turn risk off. That's a, that's It's a given. It's just this, this is like nothing we've ever seen before. Um, and people never see it coming. You and I do. And, and that's why we are in the spots we're in now. We realize that this thing could turn on a dime. Again, I still don't believe it's going to turn till after the selection takes place. Um, and we'll, we'll, again, we'll address all this as we, as we move forward. And I could tell you something else too. The market doesn't like risk where it is. Okay. The MMRI, what is it sitting at? Like uh, 285, the Manorino market risk indicator, free to everybody. Link in description of this video. The market doesn't like this here. Doesn't like to see the sell off in the debt market, but the dollar is sending us a signal. Maury knows. Maury, and this is a living Barry. Wow. Well, yes. Everybody, look, when you're looking at the debt market, the next things, and I'm talking about the 10 year yield more specifically. Okay. You don't got to look at the whole damn thing. You look at the benchmark. The, the standard here, which is the 10-year yield, okay, You're, the next place your eyeballs need to go is to the dollar, or what is the relative strength of the dollar doing? If you've noticed over the last couple of days where we've had this sell-off here in, in, the, in the debt market, automotive professionals, thank you again. You look at over here at the dollar, the dollar is dropping on a relative strength basis. You're not getting that knee-jerk fear reaction here. Right, George, you know what I'm talking about as well. It, totally true. Um, anyway, so that gives us a sign that this is going to blow over. And we should be looking for opportunities here to take advantage of everything that comes our way. Nothing is going to get by me. That means nothing is going to get by you. You understand? I think I think all of us... Uh, are pretty much on the same page with all that. 
Anyway, um, that's pretty much where we stand today, baby. Uh, everybody. Um, I'm just, look at my handwriting. Isn't it just disgusting? I don't know. What else did I write here? So, uh, look, all of you understand what's happening here. The situation is dire, okay? But this is not about doom and gloom. It's about understanding the situation and then taking advantage of it. You understand? I think you do. Anyway, all right, people, look, before I let you all go, um, anything that you would like to talk about before we, we get out of here? You like this tie? My friend gave this to me uh, a while back, and I um, haven't talked to him in a while, but I miss him. Good guy. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you, though, um, for that. I think he follows this blog. He used to, at least. Anyway, like right, that, people, look, um, I think we're going to call it. Uh, with that said, I will see all of you in the morning. And and please, as always, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Ponder these things that we talk about every day. And I know a lot of this is kind of like, first of all, the only things I talk about is the economy and the markets. Okay, I don't I don't talk about, you know, kittens or well, puppies sometimes with cocoa. Right. Uh, I do talk about race cars on my Instagram channel. But this is a very focused um blog here or vlog, whatever the freak it is. Right, Lily? Appreciate that too. And and but we must focus. We have to stay on it. Yes, platinum. I love platinum. I love palladium too. I own these things. You should be, you know, have these things. Again, a lot of people don't have the means, but this is it. If you have if you can only invest in one thing, and this is just my opinion, people look. I don't sell this stuff. I don't or in any I don't have a vested interest in this. I tell you these things because I believe it. Um, again, I told all of you, I've had people reach out to me. Hey, Greg, let's put your picture on here. Let's do bet against the debt. And it's like, sounds great. But again, I don't want people to say, Greg, you know, and I've been offered a lot of money for that. Uh, people to say, well, look, Greg's trying to sell silver coins. I'm not, I don't do this. I don't endorse things, anything for that reason. I want people to understand that what I, what I'm saying, I believe in. You understand? I think you do. I think you do. All right. Anyway, that's pretty much it, people. Again, I was just going to let you go, but take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I will see you in the morning. Thank you, Raiden. Ponder these things. Look, real estate, this whole thing is going to implode too. You know, this commercial real estate ticking time bomb. I've discussed this at length, and I think that is going to rear its ugly head, but not this year either. 2025 is the year where a lot of this stuff could really start to rear its ugly head. And it's, it's going to be interesting. You know, in 24, all the things we called at the end of last year would happen this year. It's all happening. It's all happening here. And it, it, again, look, we're no smarter than anybody. Me, I, I'm, 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 I am mean, by all of you are by far smarter than me. I only, I'm obsessed with this stuff. And I think about it and I ponder it and I study it. And again, I talk to everybody. So I maybe get a little insight into these things that maybe some people don't. But, I mean, stuff should just make sense to you. But if it doesn't, that's okay, too. Always do your own research, your own homework. Use your, your intellect here. We all have that God-given gift. Use it. And if you think what I say makes sense, well, then take action, all right? I'm really going to get going now. I'll see you all in the morning, all right? Love you a lot.